My daughter's boyfriend, Leighton, is a pathological liar and probably the biggest con artist I have ever met. Leighton started a GoFundMe page saying that he has cancer. He doesn't have cancer. He managed to raise $1,200 before I called it in and it was shut down. He also scammed a friend who is mentally disabled out of $70,000. Leighton told the friend that he wanted the money signed over to him so they could start a tattoo shop together and it never happened and the money's gone. Leighton told a story that he had been kidnapped and kept in a room for several days and that they were throwing needles with meth in them at him. Leighton claimed to be the victim of the kidnapping, however, he was the one who was arrested. They found two syringes with meth, $16,000, and a gun. I don't think it would be a great idea for you and Leighton to be together. Well, that's your personal opinion. I don't think you and Dad are a good couple either. I believe that Leighton got Mariah addicted to heroin. They started out using opiates together, then they started using heroin. Leighton shoots her up, she doesn't know how. Leighton has been charged with probably 10 crimes. Domestic abuse, destruction of property, assault, and then the current charges, the gun, money, and meth. In October, he gave Mariah a black eye and was in jail for over 30 days for domestic abuse. I believe that that violence is becoming so bad and happening more often. I'm afraid that Leighton's gonna kill her. Well, Julianne, what's your goal today? What do you hope we do here? I hope that you can convince Mariah and Leighton that they have the most unhealthy relationship. It's getting worse and worse. They say they love each other, and they're best friends, and then two hours later, they're physically abusive to each other, and it all seems to revolve around drugs, and they also have mental health issues that I don't know how to handle. Do you think you're pushing her towards him by telling her not to be with him? Because she's obviously rebellious to authority, right? Absolutely. So if you step in and say, don't, 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 is she gonna say yes, 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 just to defy you? Sometimes, but then she, in the middle of the night, on a very frequent basis, says, Mom, come and get me. Help me move home. This is terrible. You were right. I'll never go back again. And I say, Mariah, if we let you move home, you cannot go back again. Three days later, she is. And she's 24, so I don't feel like I can stop her from going back. Do you think he has some control over her? I think they both have control over each other in a very sick way. And what is it? Drugs, mental health problems. They've both been through a lot of trauma and they find that their stories are somewhat the same and that's how they bonded, I guess. Are they in love with each other in some sick way? Do in they a think very that? sick way. They both yeah. love each other. Well, what do you mean when you say he's a con man? You say he's a pathological liar and a con man. What do you mean by that? I, have caught him in so many lies. For he, example? One time they couldn't pay rent and he said the ceiling fell in on him while he was sitting on the toilet and that way the landlord would have had to pay, he talked the landlord into paying the rent because of that happening. He went to the hospital because he was so hurt from the ceiling falling in on him that he was able to get opiates, which that's their drug of choice. Right. And so um, he's got a silver tongue. He's very convincing. He's convinced me sometimes, even after he's done horrific things to her. He's conned you. Yeah. Did you like believe I've let him back in our life. Did you believe it when he said he was kidnapped? No, I don't believe that story. But he did say he was kidnapped. Absolutely. And this held is a, captive. Yeah, this is currently a pending charge. If he was kidnapped, why did they get there and arrest him? They don't typically arrest the kidnappee, no. they arrest the kidnapper. Well, because they're all in on it together against him. That's what he says. Because his brother works um, in law enforcement there and everybody's against him. Everybody's against all of them. Well, they found him with a large amount of cash, right? Uh-huh. When they kidnapped. Which they was probably left over from when he conned the guy out of the $70,000, I'm guessing. Well, wouldn't the kidnappers take the cash? You would think.